need to have a go at this because this it's, it is the right plan. Mm -hmm. Just how to implement it is the question because the idea here is to uplift the people who are at the grassroots. Yeah? Well, I, I don't, but yeah, ideally, I, I, how should it happen? Hmm. I don't know if you call it a right plan. You know, I've been listening to the people. There's a friend of mine called Michelle who used to, whenever we got into discussions, used to talk about people being confused or what uh, people from uh, Donyanza would say discombobulated, you know, or yeah. mechanganyikiwa. Because everybody, nobody seems to know because slogans have been thrown around. Let me get into some economics. And I want to thank you because you've talked about some of the things that I want to talk about, Mao Zedong and what has happened in China and everything. The different types of economic models. Uh, there's what tradition has been called the trickle-down effect, what we saw uh, happen in the U.S. Yeah. with Ronald Reagan, whereby you concentrate money at the top and hopefully you hope that it's going to go down. It is what also was used by the Western powers when looking at uh, Africa. It was called division theory, yeah. where you, you, you know, when they talked about uh, exchange of ideas, exchange of technology, hoping it gets down to the ground. And, uh, and then there is this feeling of what you call now, what they are calling the bottom-up approach, yeah. which to me, when I listen to them, is just another form of socialism. Because if you listen to what oh. Madam Wanga has talked about, and you look at what Nyerere used to talk about, yeah. you know, let's, let's, let's empower the grassroots. Let's pour money to the grassroots. Let's, let's share everything, you know? It was socialism, and it sounds very good to yeah. people who are suffering. It sounds very good to people who are uh, in a fix because the other systems are failed. And so we have to be very careful and understand what is being given to us. For me, I don't think the so-called bottom-up approach can work uh, the way it's being presented because it didn't work in China. That's why even the, so the cultural you know, revolution of Mao Zedong never worked. It never worked in Tanzania. Nyerere, yes, united the country, but they had to switch back to capitalism. And then you ask yourself, which is the richest country in the world today? It is the United States of America. Why? Because they have adopted a system that says, yes, you need to uplift the society, but you uplift the society by providing basic services. As a student, when I went to the US, I was confused. Hapa tulikuwa nyumbani, tunaomba kila usiku, tunakesha, tunaomba, nukitoka inje, barabara aziko, maji aiko, unakuta tunakaa vibaya. You go to the United States, there's stomach everywhere. You know, there's water in every household. They have taken care of the basics. Yeah. And as a result of taking care of the basics, now the economy can be able to grow. Now, the discussion we need to have here is, what is the best system for our country? Let's not start adopting all these systems. Uh, <coughs> my colleague here was talking about uh, these other countries, basically talking about Scandinavian countries. You go to a country like Sweden, for example. You go to countries like the Netherlands. They are able to live a comfortable life because they have taken care of the basics. When I became the governor of Machakos, I realized that one of the things that I needed to do was to ensure that my people have the basics taken care of. It is not an economic model per se. It is basically their rights, their social rights. Once you take care of water, you take care of roads, you take care of these basics, now you can take, about, take care about growing the economy yeah. and other things. The challenge we have in this country is that Kenya has been a country of a few rich people, billionaires, and millions who are poor. And the rich continue holding on to their money, and the poor continue struggling for the rich. And so it is very easy to go and tell people, Sisi tutualetea mali hapa chini, mutakuwa sawa, kama wengine. But that doesn't grow the economy. Yeah. To grow the economy, you need a formula. And that is why manufacturing comes in. And that is why China decided to build a factory in every village, as he has said. Yeah. That is not, not a bottom-up approach. Okay. That is money coming from the top to take it down, to build factories, to gain manufacturing, where you are rewarded by what you do. You are rewarded by what you do. Somebody said the other day that if you want to get more roses, yeah. you don't pray for roses. You go to the ground and plant more roses, yeah. and then you will harvest more roses. It has to be work in, work out. Otherwise, it will always be discombobulated, yeah. uh, wondering what is going on, and then politics come in. And but I feel that all this talk is confusing people. Myself uh, and my colleague here as presidential candidates uh, will come up with our own formula. But I don't want to talk about my formula because I have a solution to Kenya's economy. Because, uh, Madam Wang, I don't know you're aware that every time I give my own idea, some other people copy. <laughs> 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 I, 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 